Good morning. I want to thank everybody for attending today. My name is Nikki Rice. I'm serving as MC for this uh, press conference this morning. And we are here to introduce the United Charities of Ohio. This coalition is a coalition of charities from across Ohio who use bingo as a fundraising tool. It has dual purposes. We plan to highlight the great and important work these charities do across our state every day. The second purpose is to support and protect their chosen method of raising funds, which is bingo, both traditional and instant. Over the past decade, the gaming landscape has changed dramatically, and the laws and regulations surrounding bingo have not kept up with the times. United Charities of Ohio aims to assist these charities by giving them the opportunity for a unified voice when it comes to gaming in Ohio. Hundreds of charities are helping their communities in a myriad of ways, but are often flying under the radar and do not get the thanks that they deserve. With us today to speak about their organizations and how Bingo helps them achieve their goals are three individuals representative of the United Charities of Ohio membership. And they'll be speaking here shortly. I want to introduce them all and then they'll speak respectively. The first is Jenny Pike, who's president of the Humane Society of Columbia County. The second is Bobby Corton of the Youth Sports Foundation. And then Jason Bogovich, director of the Children's Toy Fund. With that, I'd like to invite Jenny up to give her speech. Good morning. As Nikki said, I'm Jenny Pike. I'm the president of the Humane Society of Columbiana County and a full-time volunteer. I oversee the um, administration of our Type 3 um, bingo and the license that we, um, we possess. And the Type 3 bingo are the little pull tabs that you perhaps see when you go to your, your local uh, club, Eagles, whatever, things like that. And you might think, now how in the world does bingo um, go along with animals? And I might say too that the Humane Society of Columbiana County is not affiliated with the national organization, the Humane Society of the United States, who has trillions and billions of dollars. Um, we scrape for every single penny, and the more we help we get, the more help we can give, not only to our pets and our animals in our community, but to the humans in our community, and I'll tell you about that. I am not an animal wacko. I care about my community. Uh, how people treat their animals is how they treat their, their humans in their homes and also their neighbors and everyone um, from there out. Um, Lancaster Bingo is my supplier. Many of them are here today. And um, we have literally earned tens of thousands of dollars over the last five years because of our um, ability to raise funds through gambling. People don't understand um, how difficult it is to raise money. Um, there are so many people out there asking for funds for so many causes. And so it becomes very competitive. And you know, there used to be a day when apple dumplings were like the big thing and that's why you love to go to the fair because you could not get an apple dumpling anywhere. Maybe the Amish restaurants, maybe the fair. Now you can get apple dumplings like at GFS, you can get them everywhere. And they're not as special. That's kind of how gambling is, you know? Now, people can go to the Racinos, they can go to these little internet places along the interstates, and those individuals, what do they do with that money? I have no idea, I don't even know who owns them. I'll tell you what I know, where the money goes that we raise in our community, it goes to animals like Whitey, who are see, is seen here. Whitey came from a circumstance where the home was the cause of his deficiency. He was emaciated, he was illness ridden, and there were, there were children in that home. So it's not just Whitey who suffers in that home, it is the care of children. It is how people treat their fellow human beings. Whitey came to us through a humane intervention. Whitey had um, then uh, developed cancer. We pressed charges on this um, the family, that the, the couple that owned Whitey. Um, we ended up uh, having to pay a great deal of money for Whitey's care. Whitey went into foster home where he knew care and he knew um, safety and comfort. Uh, he did expire, but we were able to give him quality of life. We were also able to teach Whitey's humans how to care for other people and most importantly their children. Um, we like to say that animal welfare is a societal problem in Columbiana County. 
Um, again, I go into rooms to speak to business people and to community activists. And again, I say to them, I am not an, an, uh, an animal wacko. You know, I, I'm, I support the Farm Bureau. I'm a member of the NRA. I hunt. This is about communities. This is about helping people learn how to care for each other and to better quality of life. So when we have to go out and raise money in order to do what we do, in order to put a humane agent onto the roads, in order to follow up on concerns of, of, of citizens in our community, it is a trickle-down effect. I want to show you just some quick photos here. Just again, and yes, animals and children get attention. But again, this, in, this animal wasn't cared for properly in his home, okay? We're about intervention. It's not just about going in and, and charging these individuals. We want to teach people how to care for other human beings and how to be, have a better quality of life. This is Sally afterward. Um, she had her surgery of removing a huge tumor. These are a litter of, of pups, again, just um, uh, I, I want to say, too, I tell our legislators, you know, citizens um, who don't own pets care also. They're outraged by what they see in their community. And again, by us being able to, to, to service them, we impact their quality of life, too. And they're not animal lovers, so to speak. This is another example of an animal who was abandoned in this condition, no food, embedded collar, and bone showing. This individual left. I don't know whether this individual has children, but we're going we're gonna to teach him how to care for his family. Horses, before and after, rabbits. Another example of emaciation and an after picture. This is what we do to raise money. This was a polar plunge this January, on January 30th. We partnered with a fire department in our local community. We had over 100 people for our first plunge. Uh, we raised over $4,000. That is invaluable to us. One establishment with the pull tabs for us raises at least $10,000 a year. We work tirelessly to raise $100. $4,000 is amazing, but we don't have to be in that club raising money. What do those interstate gaming people put back into our communities? I ask you, I do not know. This is a community as well. These are our volunteers. This animal came into our care again through a humane intervention. It was dog fighting. This is Brutus. He was adopted into a home. Unfortunately, through a circum series of circumstances, it did not work out. He came back to us, he lived out his days with us, and this was his final day, surrounded by his caretakers. So I ask you, many people aren't educated about the gambling and how it helps the communities. Well, if you want to know, just ask me. Thank you.